In the highly complex design and construction of any high-rise building, there can be some areas where compromise due to budget restrictions is acceptable. For example, the use of generic light fixtures versus high-end brand name fixtures, or the use of wood paneling as opposed to marble could save many thousands of dollars and look just as good. However, when it comes to critical life safety circuits, there should be no compromise. Only the proven best should be specified. What are the consequences of life safety circuit failure? In a high-rise building where a large portion of life safety circuits are run vertically, a conductor failure due to loss of tensile strength would shut down emergency communication systems. This would cause the failure of emergency audio, including the ability to give evacuation instructions, resulting in an unsafe exit from your building. Failure of pressurization and ventilation fan controls compromising stairwell evacuations, and failure of firefighters' telephones and communication impeding firefighter efforts. As a specifier, how can you be confident your cables will perform and survive during a fire scenario? The U.S. standard for testing of electrical circuit integrity during a fire is UL Test 2196. Vitalink Communications cables not only meet the rigors of the UL2196 test, they surpass the criteria outlined in this life safety standard. This test uses the ASTM E119 fire curve to simulate a commercial fire. At one hour, the test reaches 1700 degrees Fahrenheit, and at two hours, 1850 degrees Fahrenheit. After the fire portion of the test, the cable systems are subjected to a rigorous test, withstanding the impact of a high-pressure 2.5-inch hose stream for a full three minutes. Our cables are designed and manufactured with only the best-performing American-made materials using state-of-the-art processing and testing equipment. The choice of a fully tested, high-quality copper conductor that will survive in a fire scenario is a key element in the performance of this system. The proper conductor will cost more, but it is the critical element in making the difference between a system surviving a fire event and one that could fail, causing considerable damage and possibly loss of life. Less expensive, inferior quality conductors, when subjected to the heat of a fire event, release gases that incinerate cable insulation and cause premature cable failure, shutting down life-saving systems. The UL2196 standard, as well as guide info, states clearly, cable is tested as a complete system. The system includes the cable and or raceway support, couplings, boxes, conduit bodies, optional splices, vertical supports, grounds, pulling lubricants, cable tray, etc. Cable or raceway supports need to hold the cable in place during the fire and hose stream. The hardware, clamps, struts, etc., are generally stated to be made of steel. To guarantee reliability in real-life situations and meet the intent of the standard and guide, Vitalink cables are tested in horizontal and more demanding vertical orientations while energized. The vertical test sometimes includes a steel wire, basket-type support grip, demonstrating the compatibility of the Vitalink fire-rated products during fire conditions. Vertical distribution, especially in high-rise buildings, require a large number of cables in close proximity that not only have a higher probability of failure in the event of a fire, they also have the potential to spread fire to the entire structure. In the testing furnace, standard ETP copper conductors fail within 20 minutes in 8 foot of conduit, while Vitalink lasts 2 hours in the same conditions. Other manufacturers cannot make these claims. 
Test results provide clear evidence that Vitalink fire-rated cables perform far beyond the minimum requirements and meet the intent of a complete system and therefore ensure safe and successful operation when lives are on the line. These are life safety cables. Cables that only meet a minimum requirement of a specification are a tragedy waiting to happen. What are the consequences of life safety circuit integrity? Emergency audible speakers stay on, allowing fire and rescue personnel to guide the people out of your building. Ventilation and pressurization fans continue to operate, keeping the stairwells free of smoke, and firefighters are able to communicate with each other on every floor. Remember, you have a choice and obligation about the cables you specify. Consider these words from the National Order of Civil Engineers Code of Ethics. Engineers, in the fulfillment of your professional duties, shall hold paramount the safety health and welfare of the public. Do not design and specify on cost alone. When lives are at stake, specify only the best. Vitalink communication and low voltage cables.